feet long, uh, right, weigh about 230 pounds, and, uh, and they eat, eat, they eat, and they get huge. Now, an incredible part about this is being that it's albino, and thank God it was born in captivity, because, see, it's an incredible thing about snakes is as soon as they're born, whether or not it's uh, uh, an egg layer like this or lie-born, they're self-sufficient. And now I say technically self-sufficient because basically they really don't know what they're doing and they're scared to death. So the first thing they do as soon as they're born is they hide. And the way they hide is they use that camouflage and they blend in with their environment. And then they figure out life from there. A snake like this has no ability to do that. You know, when she was born, she hatched out. She probably was only about 14 inches long. And this is an animal that comes from the green jungles of Thailand. And you don't want to be trying to hide in the green jungles of Thailand looking like that. Uh, they fall prey immediately, really, to many other things because of that inability to hide. Uh, the first thing people notice when they see snakes is the way they stick their tongue in and out. That's how snakes smell. Now right here is the smell that's used holding them, but in the wild they do smell for their food. Um, when they see something that they want, they're going to quick coil back their head and they bite. I stress the fact that they do bite. And the reason I do is that there's many times I'm doing a lecture and later on someone will just come up to me and, and start petting her on her head like she's a labradoodle or something. <laughs> and I say, you know, it's not really a good idea because if some snakes are what's called head shy, and if you touch the head, they're going to bite you. And with the utmost confidence, they say, oh no, this is a python. They squeeze their food. They don't bite. And that's really, really wrong. I got a lot of stitches to prove how wrong that is. Yes, they do bite. Uh, I mean, and yes, they do squeeze their food. But see, the food isn't going to volunteer to die, uh, so they got to catch it. So they wrap it and they constrict it. Now, I use the word constrict. They do not crush their prey. See, uh, I've been wrapped about nine times by adult pythons and anacondas and, and uh, uh, boas, and I, when I was, you know, kind of trying to get myself out of this situation, I did a little bit of studying on what they do. It's an amazing science on how they go in for the kill. As I mentioned, they do not crush. See, crushing your prey takes too much energy. And these are the laziest animals in the world. I mean...